Hey, Brandon here. Welcome to the channel and thanks for tuning in. Got another incoming freshman scouting report for you here on the channel. You play Debbie, you play C2C, you are going to love the series I got on this channel. Today we are going to take a look at Clemson running back David Ezeomume is how you say his last name. I'm going to call him David E moving forward because that is a tongue twister for me. But nonetheless, Clemson running back, incoming freshman. Is he going to get on the field this year? What does his high school stats look like? We're going to jump into the film room and take a look at what he looks like on the field too. But man, he is a... Uh, a player that's heading into college football that a lot of people are excited about. I'm going to be joined by Luigi Tadone, one of my dashboard contributors, and him and I are going to break down his film and go over everything you need to know. So if you need a YouTube channel out there, it's going to give you an early look at future dynasty assets, man. Hit that subscribe button. Help me grow the channel. Enjoy the show. Hey, Luigi, welcome back to the channel, man. Great to have you back. We are going to talk about another exciting incoming freshman headed to Clemson, running back David AZ Yo Mume, um, tough last name there. He headed to Clemson. Welcome back to the channel, my good friend. Hey, 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 what's up, Brandon? Good to be back. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me back. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a fun one, man. David AZ Yo Mume. Uh, the yeah, well, the talk, the talk yeah, of town. He is. He's getting some buzz in the C2C Devi world, right? And I um, hadn't really watched his film. So we're going to get to the film room here shortly, guys. But uh, he's a name who's, uh, I know a lot of the guys over at the campus to Canton crowd is high on this guy. So we wanted to take a look, a big physical running back. Uh, so let's get right to it, man. And we're going to kind of give you an overview here before we get to the film room. But he is a Clemson. Uh, he's already enrolled at school. All right. Six foot one, 205 pound running back. All right. We're going to get to his profile first. But let's talk about his high school stats. His 2023 season was cut short through injury, but through six games, he had over 1,100 yards. He had uh, games, consecutive games of 205 yards, 268 yards, 326 rushing yards early in the season. But he finished his senior year with 14 touchdowns averaging 7.7 yards per carry got all district honors despite the limited action had some uh, receptions as well um, but he led the state of georgia rushing through six games with 1100 yards um so very productive big physical running back we are going to take a look at it's a shame his uh, season got cut short early but like i said he is on campus at clemson so let's get right to his profile here's recruiting profile i mean he decided that he was going to go to clemson or georgia tech his father just recently passed away doing a little research on this kid he lives home with his mom so he wanted to stay close to home uh, to be close to his mom he committed um you know for clemson for quite some time but you can see here he is a three-star prospect ranked 36 running back by 24 7 sports so this is a deeper show you know we've been doing a lot of these shows on the youtube channel here going after those five stars and stuff but like we said there's a guy some some buzz about this guy being a potential uh later round sleeper in our c2c supplemental drafts and stuff so we wanted to take a quick look at him um, excited to get to the film room here shortly on, on three, he is ranked as their 21st running back. Okay. Um, and then also on here, you can see that ESPN has him running back 35 rivals running back seven, which was really interesting. So this guy's all over the board, 24, seven as low as 36 and rivals is seven. So all across the board, man. So, uh, yeah, like I said, he is on campus at Clemson right now. Um, you know, and there's a, you know, Dave, Dave Sweeney is uh, Sweeney rather is, you know, kind of talking him up and, you know, he said, and I got some quotes here. I just wanted to throw out here. He said, he's a little erratic right now. I'd say not as polished, but he's wide open. He is fast. He's a strong kid. He's tough and physical. Everything we'd hope he'd be. I love how he's taken to the coaching. So he's a raw prospect, you know, a three-star prospect. Certainly you expect them to be a little mm -hmm. bit raw. So, um, you know, he's, he's in, like I said, he's at the spring practices, getting some runs. So what do you think about his 2024 opportunity this year? Um, opportunity is probably limited. They've got Phil Moffa there, um, who's expected to take on a bigger role. Uh, they also have um, Keith Adams Jr. Um, on the roster. He's probably going to get a couple, you know, see some touches. Dad's a, a legacy guy. Um, and, uh, you know, he's a triangle guy, uh, as you he's, he's, he's a triangle numbers guy, big, strong, burly, mm -hmm. fast, uh, Fun tape, really fun tape. Uh, it's gonna be a good one. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna yeah. get right to that, right? I mean, he's kind of like a Phil Moffat type. You're gonna see, you know. But yeah. what do we see? I mean, he has got some physicality to him. I think he's got some good footwork. Um, he's got some ability to catch the ball out of the backfield. I think there's two or three clips as we get to the film room. We're gonna see that. Um, got some decent contact balance. Runs a little upright. We're gonna see that. Mm. So uh, let's not waste any more time, man. Let's get right to the film room and see what this guy looks like on the field. 
All right, here, guys, we are in the film room taking a look at David E. from Clemson. Um, David, I think I, roommate, Easy E. <laughs> easy E, right? That's what uh, Debo calls him, right? All right, so let's – Um, I, I put the best clip of, I think, right at the beginning. All right, I just uh, – I love physical players. This is this like is... – it's yeah. unbelievable. You're, this I is mean, a, such a highlight. <laughs> yeah, it is. I mean, look, look how he keeps his feet in bounds. Look at look at the top. The whole thing. team. <laughs> I mean, that's if an incredible. You, if that I yeah, if yeah. that doesn't get you going, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, exactly. But you know, he's got some good feet. Good look at good acceleration around the edge, mm -hmm. and I need I to work on my vocabulary. But he's he's a well proportioned athlete. Yes, I he keep is. saying that every 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 other episode, but he really is. Just really good feet, good vision. Mm -hmm. That's why I like him for Devi. I, I mean, he's got NFL traits. Yeah, very patient. He, you're going to see he follows his blockers really well. And again, he's just got a lot of long. Yeah, you know, the competition yeah. wasn't great that he played against, but right. You know, it's still. I mean, the, like the guy. That's a missed tackle for that one guy. Mm -hmm. So. When you do play against a lower level of competition, you want to see this. You want to see this, exactly right. what he's doing. Yeah. But you want I mean, to see the whole team try to tackle him and not be able to. You guys just can't catch him. So yeah. It's it's you know it's tough. Flying. To, yeah. Yeah. I want to see. He's but not really going to do too much I mean, except this. I like a couple things on there. Good footwork. You see the little stutter step right there. Mm -hmm. Good vision through the hole. He runs a little upright. I mean, he'll learn hopefully to get down a little bit, but watch the guy, you know, manipulates him. And then again, he's got that speed where he just doesn't really get caught very much from behind. He's got the ability to run outside like this. Yeah. I, the Phil Moffa comps are out there and, and you, you, yeah. they are similar. It almost like also a Mark Fletcher maybe comes to mind. Yeah, not, I not, like that you know, kid from yeah, Miami. Think, yeah, yeah. Fletcher's maybe got a little bit better feet, and this this guy's more a little straight line, but um, mm -hmm. similar similar realm. Just good contact balance too. Good acceleration through the hole. Got a lot of long runs on these on these films. I mean, he's not even touched on this. So, I mean, you expect like you said, he, he's. He's going to Clemson. You expect to see these highlights like this, but this, but I like he keeps his feet churning. I mean, that's some good footwork there. Again, mm -hmm. he just doesn't give up on the play. Also, you know, I'll put out there in the age of NIL, I think they're gonna have an incentive to give him more playing time early just mm -hmm. to keep him keep him interested. You know, tell him, you know, you are gonna be the next guy after Mafa. Right. He'd be great at the goal line like this. I, I, like really liked, I really liked him a lot. I really liked yeah. him a lot. It is a little tricky to, to um, you know, extrapolate, like, the level of competition. But Yeah. But you're looking for movement skills. You're looking yep. for feet. You're looking for vision. Um, I love these um, type of highlights yeah. with, with, like, all the, like the Terminator style vision. Yeah. Straight line, straight ahead. Yeah, some curvy, curvilinear movement on the on on the, when he runs outside though, which is nice. this is good. He presses the line, sees that there's not much opportunity yeah. there, and has the yeah. ability to jump outside and have enough not acceleration. Yeah. And then the, mm -hmm. I love the physicality, the forward lean. He took that guy on. Um, not so a lot of wasted movement, you know. He he, mm -hmm. he sees it and he hits it, but he, like you said, yeah, he, does, he can press the line and has some nat natural patience to his game. So here's some, uh, again, just some really nice navigation past catching the ball out of the backfield. I mean, just the toughness. I mean, it's just like, <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, talk about bad tackling. He ran out of gas at the end there. He just ran out of bounds. I but, can't blame him. Yeah, that was a really nice, good acceleration right through the hole. You know, kind of made that guy miss there. Did you see that little subtle cut? Didn't really de-accelerate. Boom, right there. Made those Perfect. two guys miss. Just good forward lean contact balance. He's got some spring to him. Yeah. Definitely has some spring to his step. Oh, man, I'd like that. Just took that guy on, lowered his shoulder, initiated the contact, but he stayed on balance. And then... Hmm. 
And that was, I like the physicality with the stiff you know, again. Arm. Yeah. The stiff arm there. I love running backs that are able to use their hands. It's so important. Yeah. It really helps you with your leverage. But that was just a really good play. You know, he was hit behind the line of scrimmage and continues to churn his legs. Good vision here going to the outside. He's got some wheels. Yeah. He's got a he's got an accelerator. Yeah, he really does. I mean, again, he sheds the tackle there, gets around the edge. Guy's taking bad angles. Yeah, he's forces bad angles. But I mean, the guy's got some juice. There's no doubt about it. It's a lot so, of similar stuff, you know. It's a lot of like straight line stuff. A lot of like yeah, yeah, you know, exactly, just, yeah. So I mean, I could see him and C two C and Devi leagues getting people getting excited about it, you know, because Phil Maffa. I'm not sure what kind of Devi asset he is, yeah. but um, borderline, you know, borderline, big transition going from high school to college. So as good as this film looks, we'll have to see how he can do because he's going to have to navigate like left, you know, east to west. I think a little bit more than north to south. Um, those holes aren't going to be as wide and as as big. But hey, listen, he's got the size, he's got physicality. Looks like he's got decent feet and some footwork, yeah. good vision, can catch the ball out of the backfield. So, you know, as a three-star, he could be one of those sleepers because um, he's ranked pretty deep back there. Um, yeah, the rankings are interesting how, how all over the all over How the all over there. So, well, if you guys got to, again, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for tuning in and watching these. We, we're going to be putting out two or, threes a, two or three of these videos out a week. Um, so, again, thanks for watching. And uh, maybe uh, David E. is uh, destined for your C2C or Debbie League this year. Thanks for watching.